Today we shall be messing with this crusty old pipe wrench that was left at the St. Joe Mineral Company lead mine. And, and, well, the lead mine was closed down in the 1970s, so this could be anywhere from the 1940s to the 1970s that it was lost there. At least 40 years. Probably 50 or 60, though. We're going to first start with trying to get some of the, the, uh, the rust off of it with my bench grinder. And then we're going to try to free it up a little more. Whenever I first found it, it was just one solid chunk. But then, but then one day, whenever, whenever I threw it in the backyard, I, th I can't remember what I threw it at, it broke this free. So now this does move a little bit, so that's good. This is going to be a pain to get that off, but let's get started. So this is looking a little bit better right now, but that's all it is. It's only looking better. Now we're going to have to increase functionality. So I have some chisels, chisels and some hammers, and we'll try to break it loose. Like that. See all the rust coming out of it? Wow, that was wonderful. A couple bangs with a hammer and all that dust came out, all that rust came out. Now I can clean it even better too and make it even more functional. I found this pipe, uh, this pipe wrench, like six years ago when we went down to St. Joe State Park, and I was just figured ah, it was a good example of how a tool can get ruined, but maybe not. Now let's test it out and see if it can grip some pipes. Oh, and yeah, I know I didn't, I didn't totally de it yet because my bench grinder is pretty weak. I'm gonna be building a better bench, bench grinder someday.
That worked wonderfully. It didn't have hardly any issues gripping the pipe. Not bad for being left out in the woods for 50 or more years. It probably really locked out by where it was forgotten because it was left in a, a, a really rocky area, so it didn't have a lot of standing water next to it. If it had been left in mud or dirt, or even like sand, which would hold water, it probably wouldn't be nearly as much of a usable condition as it is now. I'm going to take it over to my dad's house, and I will use his more powerful bench grinder to clean it off even better. It's much better. I think it's really good. I'll definitely have to get a better grinder because even my dad's 10 year old grinder with the same specs, or so it says it has the same specs, works a lot better than mine. So I'll probably build my own. So I'm pretty happy with turning this old piece of junk into something useful. Very useful actually. And pretty soon I'll be baking my own bench grinder. Hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. See ya!